So what does the X factor really do for you? To me, it all starts at setup with the power positions that you get yourself to align correctly and in balance. From there, we learn the X factor coil, which is turning the shoulders more than the hips and getting a power move. That doesn't mean you're not turning your hips. It just means that you're far out turning your hips with your shoulders. You'll feel a little tension in your left side right there. You'll feel some loading into the inside of your right thigh. Those are great feels for your backswing and, and tremendously important. Coming down, the X factor is all about sequence. There's a shift, a turn, and a throw at the bottom. And that's true for all sports, all throwing sports or hitting sports. To throw it for distance and to hit for distance, that's the sequence that you use. From the top of the golf swing, there's the recentering of the weight, the turn of the body, the weight or the delay right here, and the total release of the golf club through. And that's what really powers that golf club through the hitting zone. We also look at impact alignments. And you can even start your swing from uh, impact alignments, which are very different from address. So you're absolutely not going from this position at address and returning to that position at impact. It's not even close. There's nothing that's the same. You want to be more forward and rotated. Make sure those hips are, are, have turned to the left and, and out of the way and that you're leading with the hands into impact, that the club is not passing by this way, which almost always indicates an out of sequence start. So those are most of the things that I feel are critically important to learning the X factor.